It's beer o'clock on Regal Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Zemecki Pivova in the Czech Republic. And this is a bottle of the Zanek Hawkey, number 11. It's a 4.5% ABV Czech lager in a 500ml bottle. Here's a look at the bottle cap. Now, I've had a few of this brewery's beers recently, and it's what you would come to expect from a good Czech lager, good Czech breweries. They produce good quality lagers. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. Uh, this beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsor, Beers of Europe.co.uk. Largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world. Czech Republic. Ooh. Widget in the glass, see? Widget in the glass causes that. And my rigorous pour. <laughs> I've only poured over 7,000 beers. I'll get it right one day. I really will. Beers of Europe, Docker UK, fantastic range of beers from all over the world. Um, Czech Republic, Germany, France, America, UK, Belgium, all over the world. If you want to try something decent from Poland, they've got some Polish beer. Uh, it's, it's great. It really is a great, great company. And I use them all the time. Use them all the time. Beersofeurope.co.uk. Check out the link in the description box of the video. Right, we can we can make our way now through this beer. So we got good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. You can see that widget in the glass is just producing more carbonation than it probably should. Yeah, I'm not a. I, 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 well, I, I see that. If you're a quick drinker of beer and you like a lager, then widgets I, I suppose it makes your beer look nice I, I'm not one for caring really what my beer looks like as long as it tastes good but some do some will care about the widget four finger white head light amber in color let's get the aroma good check malt good check hops Spicy, peppery, hoppy, but then you get some sweet grains in there. It's got me absolutely salivating. Let's dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Crisp. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Oh, lovely. <clears throat> wow. To begin with, well, I'm going to start at the end because that's where I'm most, I'm most feeling this beer is the end. But it, it's not just the end because it starts at the very beginning and it just kind of makes its way, it just works its way through the whole beer. So, what am I talking about? There's a lovely underlying bitterness to this beer that really does kick in at the beginning of the taste. Sometimes with beers, or most times with beers, you'll get the sweetness first. You do get the sweetness first with this beer, but it's quickly followed by the bitterness. It's very, it's a very quick, on your palate, bitter beer. And that bitterness runs from start to finish, right the way through the taste. So you get the sweetness to begin with from the malt, very quickly followed by the bitterness of the hops, a peppery, spicy kind of... Stinging nettle, that's what I was looking for, stinging nettle kind of flavour, a traditional 
Czech beer. It's it's really good though. It's really good. 4.5% ABV. Absolutely chock full of flavour. Let's get this last bit in. It is nicely carbonated. It is very, very refreshing. Massively refreshing. But I want to talk about the malt as well because the malt is playing a critical part. You can see the colour of the beer. It's not a light, light, light lager, is it? It's a, it's a deeper amber colour, which means they've used darker malt in the beer, which means you're getting more of a grainy-like flavour. It's slightly biscuity. Slightly biscuity in this flavour. And that's a good quality to have in a lager. Good quality to have. I remember being on holiday vividly, vividly in Turkey. And I remember we stayed at this hotel complex and we were drinking Efes. Efes Pilsner. Day and night. Day and night for two weeks. But then every now and again we'd pop out to a bar, pop somewhere to another town or I, re I remember vividly even about it was about eight years ago I remember finding a bar and they were advertising this 100% all malt lager Ooh. and it was a boiling hot day this lager was freezing cold and I remember tasting the malt in the lager and thinking what an amazing extra dimension this beer now has because it has that kind of all malt flavour in the beer. And it's so much more flavoursome. It's so much more kind of integrated with layers of different flavours and uh, 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 rather than just being at the hotel complex drinking pint after pint of Efes which is probably based on rice or corn and it was okay, it was wet. Um, on a hot Turkish day, there's nothing wrong with an FS. But I remember after drinking it for so long, and then trying something like a different all malt lager, I remember the difference was like mind blowing. I remember drinking this pint, thinking this is one of the best days in my in my life. I remember that vividly. How good the beer was, just because it was all malt lager. And this is what is going on here. I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure because all of the language here is in the Czech Republic. It's, it's all in Czech. But I'm pretty sure this is an all malt lager. Beautiful lacing on the beer, a biscuity bready flavour. Nice and cool, nice and refreshing. You get the hops on the back end. It's terrific. It's a really, really terrific, terrific beer. And I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate it. If you find yourself away, if you find yourself in that situation that I just mentioned where you, you, you're you somewhere where you're drinking, there's not much choice and you're, you're drinking like beer, all inclusive type of beer, that's what it was in, with this FS and you find yourself in a position where then you could try something different, try an all malt lager, try an all malt lager, it will blow your mind, it will blow your mind. I like this Kanek, it's really good. It's really good. I'm going to rate it. I like it enough to give it a stone the crows. 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.